everybody, I'm Jerome Wright here, and once again, you're joining me here on my Jerome Wright YouTube channel here on YouTube. All right, um, you're looking at a painting here by um, world famous artist George Kondo. George Kondo, um, he has been most recently noted in the media for actually creating that Hearns Boykin uh, Birkin bag um, painting for Kanye West, um, that gift bag to his um, wife, um, Kim Kardashian. All right, I think Kanye paid this guy about $14,000 to have that painting um, put on that Birkin bag. All right, so they, they everybody had been in, um, in the news famous for that. You have Kim, Kanye, and um, this George Kondo. Now, George Kondo is a, a very interesting artist, and I have my um, my email up here, and um, I have this 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 um, one of his paintings up here. I actually sent it to myself just for this purpose. I'm going from one screen to the next, so you're probably looking at it in reverse. This here is his painting of the cracked cardinal. So you can Google this painting. It's called the cracked. Just Google George Kondo's cracked cardinal, and this character will come up. Now. I always knew from the beginning that George Kondo's um, painting style mirrors that of of um, Pablo Picasso's. So it was easy for me to decode Kondo's work and follow a trail of um, of that of which he does or his style that he has incorporated and the encryption style that he utilizes. Um, it's almost like a surreal type of art. As well, too. There's other artists, um, Salvador Dali, that actually utilizes this style as well. Now, here, what is amazing about this is that Kondo, he enjoys a a a, a peaked level of success. I mean, he's with the names of the names to do, well to do, and now here, you can look in his artwork and his art galleries and find things like this. If you look into this cardinal's mouth, there is a dick. This is the head. There is the shaft. This is a dick. You know who dick that belongs to? That dick belongs to the dear Pope. You see this cloak? This is a Pope's cloak right here. So, this artist, George Kondo, is stating that through his underground knowledge, through this cult-like engagement that he practices in that causes for him to create these artworks and I can do this with other arts artworks of his as well to people um, as well I'm going to show you in a minute with the um, in fact not even with the Birkenbeck I'm not going to do I'm going to do a separate video I'm not even going to tie that in but this is what led me to this is the Birkenbeck but I'm going to I'm going to show you here that he's insinuating that the cardinal is cloaked with the semen and the blood of the Pope, and it's showing you that the penis is in the Cardinal's mouth. This is this is this is this is not me saying this, people. This is George Kondo saying this. He's saying that this is a a, a cracked Cardinal. How's the Cardinal cracked? Well, I tell you how he's cracked. The Pope cracked nuts in the Cardinal's mouth, causing for the part and the Cardinal to be now dubbed as a cracked. Cardinal. He had nuts cracked in his mouth. And they're telling you that the Pope did it. Point blank. Now, this is amazing, people. I'm going to bring in a closer image. So you can get, you can Google the image yourself, but you see that dick in that Cardinal's mouth? Look at the eyes, the green eyes. Look at that. There's the Pope's cloak. You see that? All the same coloring and everything. People, when are you going to realize here's other paintings too? And then I've decoded the true underlining message uh, symbology behind the clown. Here's another similar image of with the uh, with the clown. You see the clown there? And then he has almost that same clown image. And again a clergy wearing the face of the clown. All of this is suggesting 
the same exact thing. Through this underground hidden knowledge where there is homosexuality, bisexuality, the sharing of blood, the sharing of semen, um, molestation of children. I mean, all of this stuff is symbolized and captured with this. They're doing it with the images of nuns. They're doing it with everything because it's a cauldron-like process where there is a chemistry where all of these different created bloodlines are created, where new ones are being created and new genes are being created while the old ones are being destroyed. And these artists are showing they're getting more and more flagrant and bold and showing you and describing what is going on because in their own sickness of drinking too much semen come as I like to say it and and drinking too much blood they believe that they're up at a status and a level that they're above being scrutinized but what's amazing about this is that you have the Vatican you have kingships and queenships now these are the best ancient rooted groups that are in art, the art collection business. They use your tax dollars to go around globally and buy art. My friend joked and said that the Pope probably has this this painting hanging over his bed. You know what? <laughs> I almost want to agree with him because there was a, a painting that I seen where Otto Dix had similar um, 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 symbolization in his painting and the Vatican has one of Otto Dix's paintings in their art collection. When you Google these informations, you will see where people like George Kondo have made visits to the Vatican, or there may be artworks in their collection, and you wonder why. Now, they all have an eye for art. I'm talking about ancient rooted religion and ancient rooted royalty. So I know for a fact that none of them can't say, I mean, they turned the other cheek when they seen this dick in this cardinal's mouth. Come on now, people. This man is a worldwide famous artist being honored for his artwork. And he takes religion and does this to it. I'm going to make another video about the um, the Hearns Birkin bag, which is going to be followed behind this. But people, anytime a man at the peak of his success can take and do this to our oldest religion in our world, look, put a dick in a cardinal's mouth. And symbolizing that it's a, it's a pope stick that's going in the cardinal's mouth. Something I've been saying all along. I've been saying this for almost five years and have gotten nowhere. And now you have an artist that candidly takes and puts a penis in a cardinal's mouth. And symbolizing that it is a pope's dick. And this is how genetic bridging is happening. And, and it's my message. And you look at my videos consistently. I have 277 plus videos here, people. In each one of my vid videos, I consistently state that the different levels of, of, um, of religion in religion through their clothing. I'm even talking about the nuns. I'm talking about from the Pope down to the bishops, to the cardinals, even the monks. All of this stuff, I'm telling you, there are levels, certain levels of genetic bridging where these people genetically sacrifice themselves in a pyramid-like way where they suck each other's dicks drink each other's blood, drink each other's cum, and genetically alter themselves to each other. And it's all to further genetically alter themselves and further themselves from what? The ape and African origins from which they evolved. And this people, and it's not just with themselves, but it is with animals. This is the reason why you see all of this symbolization with animals. Even in ancient rooted um, 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 Egypt, where these lions and, 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 and mandarin apes, all of this stuff that's being symbolized, these turtles, these birds, all of this stuff, people, is showing you how they introduce these genes into themselves, genetically sacrifice their bodies to overcome the ancient, that tough, ancient-rooted gene of the ape 
and the African, which was a, a tough nut to crack. Or should I say a tough sell to crack. And this is what this is all about. My name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my Jerome Wright YouTube channel. And it's amazing because this, what you're seeing here, is no different than if you were to see a Pope kissing a Cardinal. This is the same exact mess, message that they're, that they're sending. For you, it's just a show of love and a show of unity. But when I see things like this here, I see a whole different other message. I see people telling the world that there is a behind the scenes engagement which involves the cult-like ritual, the sharing, the unity of one's blood with another. And this is what these nations are doing. These popes, you know, it's amazing because we are in a segregated world where you have these different nations, these different continents. We are a segregated people. America is the one place where there, where there is a cocktail where you can come and everybody can do everybody in America. But you can't go to all of these other different continents and do that in their countries. You know what I mean? You get shunned upon, get ran out, probably get killed, stabbed, and this, that, and the third. But America is a place where all of that experiment, experimentation and all of this is going on with sexuality and, and gene alter and all this. But for the most part, these people, ancient rooted religion and ancient rooted um, royalty, they're the ones that protect their bloodlines. Why do they protect their bloodlines? You know why? Because they're creating new. These people, like I said, don't even have to go to a doctor that we go to. You pay their bills. And they done created their own hospitals and own infirmaries that you cannot even go to. And then the, 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 to add to insult to injury, they have an ancient hidden knowledge that probably has most cures for what is ailing most people in our world today. But you know why? Because these sick motherfuckers are the one that created it. Introducing humans DNA with animals and vice versa, they created most of the problems that you have. That mother that you have suffering from Alzheimer's, as mine did, or that, that father you have dying of prostate cancer or cancer. You have artists showing how that shit was sent from or shipped across seas over to, um, um, to, to different continents to call these, these problems. In this genetic bridging process that's caused for cross-contamination and destruction, death and resurrection. Creation of new genes while killing the old. People, you're worshiping these sick motherfuckers and, and I'm telling you now that I'm getting angry. I don't know why you're not getting angry. You're giving these people money to kill you. Not just kill you, but kill generations and generations and generations of you. You're thinking you're okay, but your great-great-grandchildren are going to be affected by this. Somewhere along the line, you got to grow some freaking, some, some freaking strength. I should say balls because I'm not telling some. You have to come to your common sense and realize that people are showing you right in your face what is going on. And this guy here, George Kondo, is showing you by placing that dick in this cardinal's mouth. This image of got this cardinal with green doll eyes. And wearing a Pope's cloak, showing you that there's a homosexual engagement between going on in the Vatican, and it's a bridging level that calls for the sharing of blood and semen. Look at my videos here, the, the, where my videos are going. Look at my Alien UFOs channel. I'm on Dreams and um, Alien. Go to you, my Alien UFOs website and, under, and look under Dreams and Experiences. And then there, Dreams and Experiences, you get I am an alien and I'm um, so are you. And you will see how I evolved to come into this conclusion. From day one, since my experience and my encounter in 2000, I've been consistently showing and detailing this. Oh, it's been since 2009. It's been almost five years. But I'm telling you now, people, that this is what I'm coming to and can, can show you, can read what this artist is stating. This artist is clearly stating, George Kondo is stating, look, the Pope put his dick in this Cardinal's mouth 
and this cardinal is bridged over with the penis, with the semen and the blood of the Pope. And this is what goes down. Now, what would possess a world-renowned artist to do something like this and then get away with it with no backlash from the public? Now, remind yourselves that, again, that the Vatican, kingships and queenships, they have the best eyes for the art in the world because you know why? They are our number one, our world's number one art collector. Our world's number one and number two art collectors with your money. So tell me that they don't see that dick in that cardinal's mouth. And I tell you no lie, then you know what? Then something is terribly wrong. My name is Jerome Wright. Again, thank you for watching my Jerome Wright YouTube channel. And people, it doesn't stop. It only gets better for actually creating that Hearns Boykin, um, Birkin bag um, painting for Kanye West, um, that gift bag to his um, wife, um, Kim Kardashian. All right. I think Kanye paid this guy about fourteen thousand dollars to have that painting um put on that Birkin bag. All right. So they, they everybody had been in um in the news famous for that mirrors that of of um Pablo Picasso's. So it was easy for me to decode Kondo's work and follow a trail of um of that of which he does or his style that he has incorporated and the encryption style that he utilizes. Um, it's almost like a surreal type that you have Kim, Kanye, and um, this George Kondo. Now, George Kondo is a, a very interesting artist, and I have my um, my email up here, and um, I have this 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 um, one of his paintings up here. I actually sent it to myself just for this purpose. I'm going from one screen to the next, so you're probably looking at it in reverse. This here is his painting of the cracked cardinal so you can google this painting it's called the cracked just google george condos cracked cardinal and this character will come up now i always knew from the beginning that george condos um, painting style by the um jerome right here and once again you're joining me here on my jerome right youtube channel here on youtube all right um you're looking at a painting here by um world famous artist George Kondo George Kondo um, he has been most recently noted in the media